Okay, I'm going to slide this open a little bit. Fortunately, they're not poisonous, but boy, these are some cantankerous snakes. Okay, we, we're getting quite a few snakes into the store this time of year. Uh, this is uh, one of our customers, Jim, and he just brought by some snakes to be identified. And this particular trap currently has three snakes in it, two banded water snakes and a northern banded. And I was just going to ask Jim, uh, you've been trapping for a while now. I know you've had these traps for a while. How, how long ago did you start getting traps from us? When we moved in this house, let's go to Creek, about eight years ago. And I could see the snakes basking out on the rocks during the day. And I've got dogs and grandchildren, so that's why I came down here and you sold me my first trap. So you were concerned mostly about having poisonous snakes in the area? I'm not smart enough to know one snake from another. Okay, yeah. and uh, <clears throat> you were telling me that you just, you, you hadn't had any traps out for a while and you just put it in the in the water. Just last night. Just last night? Just three, yeah. So three, you did, in that situation, which I consider an ideal, when you have flowing water, it's probably the most ideal situation for trapping snakes. Did you put this thing in with the mouth of the trap facing up creek, uh, a couple of rocks around it, you will catch snake after snake after snake. You were telling me a little bit ago when you first got the trap, how many snakes did you trap in the first? Well the first spring that we lived there, probably to be honest over 45, 60 days I caught 17 snakes in the same trap. 17 snakes, that's almost one every other day. So that's that's a pretty good rate of trapping snakes. I never thought these things would work. I thought it was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I they catch snakes. <laughs> you know, this is based on, uh, on some uh, designs that we saw other herpetologists using. And uh, we felt like there was a lot of people that would want to have access to these. And uh, we're just glad that they're working out for you. It's a great deal. Okay, well, I'm going to take a minute here. I'm going to actually relocate some of these into this bucket here so we can get a good look at them. Uh, they are very active. Uh, they struck at me about a half a dozen times while I was waiting for him to come over here so we could talk about this. So I'm going to turn the camera on these guys and we're going to take a look at them. One of them was striking at me over and over a second ago. Let's see if we can get one of them out here to look at us. This is the one that I believe was striking at me. Yeah, the big boy went after your friend. Yeah, the big one didn't strike at all. It was this medium sized one. Here's a smaller one. And then the big one. That's one snake released. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got two of the snakes in here now. This one's uh, definitely very active. And uh, you can see on the underside, there's uh, not only coloration on the scales, but if you look, towards the end, maybe I'll flip one over here and let you see. From the, well. all right, here's another banded water snake. And this one's a little younger, a little bit more distinctive pattern. And it is now pooping on me, which is nice. Uh, very, very uh, active today. This one, uh, because it's younger, the markings are a little more distinctive. I'd say it's actually a prettier snake. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and release this one too. I just wanted you to be able to see this one up close. I had one other one. He, uh, he scooted off underneath the shed before I could get any uh, good video of him. And we'll go ahead and let him loose. Well, thank you for watching these how-to videos from Bugspray.com.